women always get a pass on everything when it comes to uh, relationships. They always think they're the relationship one, so to speak, like with a man. And the men don't understand them. From a capitalistic point of view, a woman is a full part Sufim. She's Malkus. A man is not full. He's Zerampen, and he needs a Nakuva to make him full. And that's the male searching after his, you know, his rib. Now, what I've noticed is that all societal aspects are for women. You know, clothing shops and furniture shops and hair salons and all sorts of things. And so, where does this occur? Why does this occur? It's because, you see, a woman's multiple sex partners are herself in different dresses. A woman has an internal and an external. Her internal remains the same, and the external changes according to the new shoes, new makeup, new hairdo. It's a new person that she's interacting with and as a sexual component, as a completeness, because for completeness you need an internal and external. So a woman's sexual partner is herself. And she has multiple partners because she's always, had, always buying and wearing different garments. A man always wears the same garments, but he wants multiple sex partners. So his desire to run around, so to speak, or look at different girls, is the same desire as a woman wanting to buy new clothes, and buying new clothes, and buying new shoes, each pair of shoes is her own sex partner. A woman's shoe fetish is the amount of shoes, pairs of shoes she buys. It's not that she wants to get walked on by these shoes or kiss these shoes. She wants to own these shoes. <laughs> Have a lot of pairs of shoes in her closet. So, again, a woman's multiple sex partners are the different garments, different attire that she wears. A man's different uh, multiple sex partners are actually physical women. And in this is that both want multiplicity in the sexual area. But a woman is satisfied only with one man because she's not interested in that man anyway. She's only interested in herself and her sexual partner, which is her clothed self.